This is Rio with I'm a Shooter Brand. My shooter of mine is... My name is Nasir Rankin, class 2026, and I go to Morgan Park High School. So let's get to know our shooter. What does it mean to you to be shooter of the month? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I'm just blessed and grateful that you guys asked me to be on her. Uh, I know it been a lot of good players on her, so I'm just blessed to be on her. Appreciate it. You definitely earned it. You, you nice. You can Appreciate go. it. Yeah. What are your favorite kicks to rock on the court? Uh, my favorite kicks is right now is probably Kobe's. Uh, before I started wearing Kobe's, I was wearing Kyrie's stuff like that, like lightweight type of shoes. So you know you're, you're an energy type player. What music you listen to? What artists get you pumped before a game? Uh, lately I've been listening to Screwly G, Rag Baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know I like Lil Dirt from Chicago. I gotta rep him. You gotta rep Real. Chicago. Yeah, and you can't go wrong with like Drake, stuff like that. So my music kinda all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, who's your favorite basketball team? Who's your favorite basketball player? Uh, my favorite basketball team right now is probably Timberwolves. Uh, my favorite player is, is LeBron. Why, why LeBron? Is LeBron he just, the GOAT? He's just the GOAT. He's just the GOAT. He's just the GOAT. He's just the GOAT. Over MJ, you picking LeBron? Yeah, LeBron, for sure. LeBron, no, for sure. No, no question. No question, LeBron. Okay, all right. Do you have a certain pregame routine or routine? I just do like basic stuff, you know, I shower, uh, stretch out. Uh, I'm just relaxing, listening to music, you know, I gotta be as relaxed as possible. Not stressing over nothing, stuff like that, so it's pretty simple for me. Okay. Who and what influenced you to pick up a basketball first? Uh, my dad, because I used to be a little, a shorty, I used to go to the gym, watch him play basketball. Like, I used to be sitting there watching, he used to be dunking and stuff. Like, I was just impressed with it since, ever since a young age. And I remember going to my basement, it was like a basketball down there. And I just started picking it up, trying to dribble it. I couldn't dribble it at first at all. Then one day I just I just got it. So my pop was like, man, it's, it's about that time. He's, you know, put you on the team and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll never forget that. Oh, okay. You think you think you uh, you think you're a better basketball player at this age than he was? Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For so y'all sure, y'all know. If, so if y'all play one on one and it's prime you, and you, what, what would be the score? And it's prime, I'll kill him. Don't for sure. Kill him. Kill him. Okay. I'll kill him. Sure. <laughs> no you, question. No. <laughs> what is your strength on the court and what is your biggest weakness? Uh my biggest strength on the court is getting to the bucket. Uh I can get to the bucket and finish very well. My mid-range game. Uh, I'm really a three-level scorer, but what separates me for real is uh, I can play both sides of the ball. Uh, many people don't like defending, but I like to guard other people. So with that, I don't really think I got no weakness. Yo, there you go. If you don't got no weakness, yeah. <laughs> I don't got no weakness. You don't got no weakness. You don't got no weakness. Talk your stuff. You don't feel like you got no weakness. I feel you. What player would you compare yourself to and why? I compare myself to to Anthony Edwards. Okay. Cause like we both bouncy. We both like the we both play both sides of the ball. We both like the guard. Uh, he can score anywhere on the court from all three levels. I just I, I'm not as big as him, but I just think we that's I'll a, try to model my team. That's, that's a good comparison. That's definitely yeah. a good comparison. Would you rather get a bucket or assist and why? Uh, <laughs> Cause I like throwing lobs. 
So I throw a lot of lobs to the pigs. I get, I like to get the pigs involved. So I probably say, I, I do, I do like to score, score more. So I probably say, probably say scoring. Get a bucket. Get a bucket. Huh? Get a bucket. Get yeah, a bucket. Why is it important to be a good student athlete? Being a student athlete is important because you can't play basketball for your whole life. So after that, you gotta have something to like fall back on. Or if basketball don't work out, you gotta be able to, to do something. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, and then if you're not a student athlete, you can't go to no school even with basketball. So it's very yeah. important. You gotta keep them grades up. You gotta keep them grades up. How do you manage playing both football and basketball at such a high level? Uh, I just try to, you know, take it day by day. Uh, try to, cause I know it's a lot on my body, so I try to always keep my body right. You know, body my number one priority, cause you know I gotta stay healthy. It's doing this, not many people could do play both. So I'm just trying to, you know, keep my body right and stuff like that. And take it day by day. How do you transition from football to basketball with the season so closely overlapping? Uh, so in football season. Like, I try to, you know, get shots up every now and again so I won't lose my rhythm. So when basketball come around, I really, I could just train. I'd be already back in rhythm a little bit. So that's how I you know, try to manage it. Okay. Being ranked high in football to basketball, which part do you feel you are better at and why? Uh, I just, I feel like I'm, I'm good at both. I really don't want to say, like, I'm better at, you know, one or the other, but I do feel like since I'm a highly ranked football player. I do feel like they they try to drop me on the rankings for basketball, but I know I know I'm gonna move up on the rankings for so sure, because I know I'm one of the, the best, if not the best player, one of the best players in the state. So do it like get to you knowing that you should be ranked higher in basketball or you just it's just spring motivation to you? Nah, it's just it's just spring motivation because I know I'm gonna have to see everybody one day and they're gonna have to see me too. <laughs> that's a fact. Gonna, yeah, that's a yeah, fact. fact. Why is it important to have a good basketball IQ? Uh, it's important to have a good basketball IQ because, like, everything not about doing one thing. Everything is not about shooting, scoring. Like, you gotta know how to get everybody involved. You gotta know how to how to move. It's, it's many things that's like comes with basketball instead of just scoring the ball or doing one thing. So, what separates you from every other hooper? I, I like to play both sides of the ball. I like to guard uh, many hoopers. They just go, then they just take take plays off on defense. I don't, I don't like to play take plays off on defense, so that's what sets me apart from everybody. That's what's up. Yeah, like you said, a lot of a lot of a lot of guards just one one dimension. That's good that you like to take pride on defense. That's, that's mm -hmm. good. What have you picked up from watching the players at a higher level? Uh, when I when I watch players at a higher level, I like what I pick up on is the way they think the game, because. I know that since they at the higher level, they they seen more more stuff. So if I could think like them, the people I'm playing against, it'd be like it'd be so much easier to like get to my spots to get other people involved. It'd make my game so much better. What are your goals for this upcoming season? My goals <laughs> definitely definitely to win state and, and football. And for basketball, one of my goals is to 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 win city, get my team out the white into the red division. Definitely on like, break some records or something. You wanna break some records? Yeah. Okay. Now you definitely can do it. Just stay sure. focused. What went into the decision to play AAU for Power Five in Wisconsin outside your home state? Mm -hmm. All right. So the decision that me and my family made, we were just you know trying to get out the city, trying to do my own thing. Uh, I know that they they has like so much faith in me that I can like go over there and play my game. So that was a a good decision for me, I think. So, I'll just see me next year. I'm gonna be that <laughs> you, you, you stay in Wisconsin? Yeah, I'm staying in Wisconsin. <laughs> okay. Why do you think you just think it's just a dim atmosphere, or you just like you Yeah, the, the atmosphere is crazy, and it's like they want to see everybody, everybody win. Everybody so, shine, know, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's a good, it's a good atmosphere, positive atmosphere. Okay. Okay. What role how your parents played in your success so far? Oh, uh, my parents like. If, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be like even playing sports at all. <laughs> like they give me so much advice and they just like guide me in the right direction with everything I do. So without them, I'd probably be doing something I don't got no business doing. So it's, I just want to thank them for everything they you know doing for me. How do you think the game would change going from high school to college? 
Uh, the, the game definitely, they, the, the people going to get like bigger, stronger, faster. So that with that being said, I got to hit the weights and you know, work out more. And also my basketball IQ got to get better because of those kids been playing, some of those uh, kids been playing on a collegiate level for a very like long time, like two, three years over me. So I got to learn how to do different stuff to, you know, make me look good. What legacy would you like to leave at Morgan Park High School? Uh, I definitely, I definitely want to be one of the best players to, to walk out of here. I want to put my name on the wall in some way, like whether that's like when a state, city, Gatorade. Yeah, okay. and that's always been a dream of mine. Mr. Football, Mr. Basketball, either one. That'd be, that'd be a blessing. Fact. Yeah, I think you can do it too. Like yeah. you're on your way. I think you can do it. What do you see yourself doing in life after basketball? At the basketball, I see myself like probably having my own AAU team, you know, working with the kids, you know, guiding them. I like, you would see me somewhere around the community, like helping out. Like, you would definitely see my face. What is your definition of being a shooter? My definition of being a shooter is being able to shoot from anywhere, with anybody guarding you, any point in time. So I'm gonna leave with the final word. Keep God, keep your parents, keep, keep that grind. I'm cheering for you. Good luck. Appreciate it.